Hello everyone, this is Prophetess Equilla, and I'm coming to you with this week's word of encouragement. As I was just praying and seeking the Lord over the past couple of days on what to minister this week, He gave me His grace. Hallelujah. He minister my grace to my people. God's grace is sufficient for you. Just meditate on that for just a moment. God's grace is sufficient for you. God's grace is his favor. God's grace is his goodness. God's grace is his kindness. God's grace, hallelujah, is sufficient for you. If you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, brought grace and truth to us. Let me give you a scripture. John 1, 4 says, The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. So when Jesus came into the earth, he brought grace and truth. We are no longer under the law. We are under grace. So what I want to continue to just encourage you is that it's time to stop walking in guilt of past failures past mistakes even if the past was yesterday <laughs> even if you did something yesterday where you feel you really missed the mark where you feel you really messed up it's not a time for you to get bound up in guilt and condemnation it's time for you to just fully receive the grace and the mercy that Jesus Christ came, hallelujah, to give you. Let me give you another scripture. I'm going to give you Ephesians 1, 7. This is from the NIV. It says, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. That was the NIV, and I want to share it with you from the God's Word translation, the same scripture. It says, through the blood of his son, we are set free from our sins. God forgives our failures because of his over flowing kindness did you get that the grace of God can be defined as God's overflowing kindness God has forgiven hallelujah all of those sins all of those failures hallelujah as long as you have confessed your sin he is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. God does not want you bound up, hallelujah, guilt, the marriage didn't work out, you filed for a divorce, it's done, it's happened. Receive God's grace. Receive God's overflowing kindness, hallelujah, and get up and walk on, hallelujah. Praise God. God does not want you, hallelujah, stuck in your mind over mistakes, over past sins, over um, just things that you are still regretting. He wants you to receive his grace, receive his mercy, know that you are forgiven know that he is a god of love that he is a god of mercy that he is a god of goodness hallelujah and get up and move forward hallelujah i pray that you are receiving hallelujah grace right now hallelujah right where you're standing hallelujah the spirit of god has come to bring deliverance on today let me give you another scripture this is ephesians 2 four through six 
I'm going to give it to you from the NIV. It says, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Okay? It's because of God's love. Okay? It's not because of how good our behavior was. Uh-uh. God said while you were in your transgressions. Okay? While you were in adultery. While you were in fornication while you were in the nightclub while you were in the midst of getting high okay God knows all about our past and we all have a past we all needed a savior the word of God says for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God but guess what because God is rich in love because he is rich in mercy hallelujah god has delivered you out of those transgressions hallelujah through your faith in jesus christ hallelujah you don't have to hallelujah be good and be perfect in your behavior to be free okay so i want you to just receive this word to be blessed by this word to be encouraged by this word meditate the scriptures and walk free receive god's goodness receive god's grace receive god's mercy it's for you on today god bless you